the nursing home. She's got a brand new high flow machine. She looked and sounded the best I've seen her in about a month uh, this morning. And she got her order in for Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. So as long as I bring stuffing and gravy with the turkey, we will be good. So um, and also went by and saw Brother Howard today and, and got to talk to him for a little while. And that was a blessing for me anyway. Um, he probably wish he believed her in. But, uh, Anyhow, um, okay. he had a couple nurses' visits today. So y'all mm. remember him and Miss Barbara? She had her endoscopy today, wasn't it? Mm. And I guess that went all right. They took biopsy. The biopsy on her stomach. So he, she got a hiatal hernia. Yeah. That's a lot going on. Mm. Hiatal hernia, biopsy, and she had endoscopy all in one day. Wow. Yeah, and, you know, he, he, he'll talk, but he ain't eating nothing. Right. I mean, period. That's what he told me today. He said his appetite just wasn't there anymore. He said it real quick. That's the last day. Somebody quit speaking. He uh he talked good today. I mean, he was a little little weak voice sounding and a little raspy, but uh, his sense of humor is still there. And, uh, it was good to talk to him. I think it does more for me than it does for him. <laughs> he goes in and talk to us. So, uh, but what a blessing that was. Um, all right. How's Miss well, Lolly doing? She doing all right? She's slowly getting better. It's just her mind is. She took, she, well, she took a pill she wasn't supposed to take, but mm. <laughs> anyway. I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Sarah purpose. tries to give me some pills I'm not supposed to take too, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Sarah. Don't put anything in my coffee tonight. We'll be fine. Anyway, yeah. just just pray about it because my sisters need to take a turn with my mom, yeah. so I think we're trying to figure something out. I think they're seeing that she needs some more help. So. Sure anyone have anyone that, yes? Becky's dad, Sam Flies, he's the one you hear. Matter of fact, on yours and dad's birthday, on the first, we yeah. sent him. And he's the one, they're on the other side of the lottery, the 75% block. But they said he, they thought he could do this stuff. He's got so much else going on with his uh, dementia happening, and um, they don't want to put him under too long, but they think he can make it. So, and he goes Monday for pre surgery, and he's so also getting the old thing cracked up. <laughs> it does. See, we, we're men that know how to cook. That's all I'm saying. I got hungry a long time ago, so I learned how to cook for myself. Uh, all right. Anyone else? Yes, Travis. Uh, just, they don't have to go on the list, but just for tonight, there was a car accident on our way here. Truck hit a uh, power pole. Uh, on 17? On 308. 308. I heard some sirens. Who's out of power? It didn't reach us yet. Clay or Chris? I don't know. That's right on the. It was like right by the line. You know, it was like right past the school. So it's kind of like right on the uh, city yeah. limit line, yeah. kind of. So. Well, I know with Clay electric and Bird is flying. Yeah, really. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the sneeze. Well, Turkey yeah. morning. I'll send, I'll send the mayor out and she Somebody can square that away. Plug the <laughs> toaster up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to go. All right. Anyone else? No one else? All right, let's go to the Lord for it. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much on this eve of our National Thanksgiving Day, Lord. Uh, I am so thankful for the ones who've come out tonight uh, to hear your word and to sing praises and honor your holy name, Lord. And, and for those who can't be here, who can't drive because of their eyesight or uh, also family coming in and their cooking, Lord, we just ask that your hand be upon them and that you bless them, Lord. And we just ask for protection through these holiday seasons. It's never a good time to have accidents and or, or illnesses or injuries of any, any kind, Lord, or uh, even death. But we pray, Father, during this season that you keep us all safe as always, that you go with us. Lord, bless us as we continue to try to uh, spread the gospel to everyone we come in contact with. Keep us safe, Lord, and fill us up with the Holy Spirit that we may be good witnesses for your glory, honor, and praise. Father, for those that we mentioned tonight, uh, Lord, we lift them up to you. 
uh, Pastor Howard, uh, Father, as he uh, continues uh, to sit in his bed, Lord, and he's just waiting. And Father, he, as he told me today, like we, we don't know why, uh, but we know that you have a plan. And Father, we love you for it. And we thank, we're thankful for it, Lord, and we're thankful for Pastor Howard and what he means to us and the lesson that he continues to teach us, Father, through your your word. And Father, we pray for Miss Barbara. Uh, she needs all the strength that she can muster, Lord. So we just ask that you uh, bless her immensely and fill her up, Lord. Uh, Father, even as she continues to minister under her husband, she has her own health to worry about. So Lord, we just ask that you bless her, walk with her, and strengthen her uh, through this time as well. As well as Kevin and Brian and uh, Pam and their entire families, Lord, and this church. Uh, Lord, I fervently pray for this church that you will uh, continue, Lord, to uh, bless us and hold us together, Lord. Uh, Father, I, I ask that you continue to help me uh, prepare the messages, Lord, that you put on my heart and to touch the hearers, Lord, to come through these doors uh, that they may go out and be doers, Father. Uh, we love you so much for that. Lord, we pray for that car accident tonight, 308. We pray that there's no injuries, Father. We pray that there's no fatalities, no injuries, and we pray, Father, you be with the rescue workers or first responders as they uh, administer unto the accident victims, Lord. And we pray that you go before them and work this for your good, for their good, but your, for your glory, Father. Uh, be with us tonight, Father. Be with uh, uh, Sam White as he prepares, Father, for the first of December. He's got several things he needs to get done before then, Lord. We pray that you go before him and work this artery surgery for his good, Lord. Just bless him and his wife, Father. And, and be with Becky. Lord, just strengthen her and give her peace and comfort during this time as well. Uh, Father, we pray for my mom continuously. Lord, I just lift her up to you and pray, Lord, that you'll keep her in good uh, repair in this uh, nursing home under the conditions that she's in right now, Lord, with the new uh, machine. I pray, Father, you bless that. Uh, Father, be with us all uh, as we go out tonight, Lord, and we leave your uh, house tonight. And we're gathered around friends and family members. Uh, to celebrate Thanksgiving, let us remember what that is for. Uh, Lord, warm our hearts that we may lift our voices up to you and praise your holy name and give you thanks, Father, for all the goodness and all the blessings that you blessed us with, for they are many. Lord, we love you. We praise you. I uh, pray for Miss Lolly, Lord, that you'll just uh, continue to help her, uh, heal her, Lord, uh, her mind as well, Father, and uh, her knee. Uh, Lord, just Continue to bless her and use her, Lord, for your glory. And be with Michelle, uh, Father. Give her strength uh, and peace and comfort. And that her sisters, Father, I pray that uh, they're able to help. And they're able to do uh, what they can, Lord, to help Michelle with this love. Lord, we love you. We praise you. If there be any uh, that we did not mention tonight that may be on the hearts of everyone that's here, Father, I just pray that you hear their prayers. You hear their hearts. And, uh, Lord, that we know that you're going to answer we're going to give you all praise and glory regardless of the outcome, regardless of the circumstances. Father, for you are still on the throne in the valleys of our life, even as you are when we're standing on the mountaintops. Lord, we love you. We praise your holy name. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. <laughs> all right. Let's go to 304 since we're in the 300s. That's Jesus.
Yeah, yeah. yeah all right. <laughs> Throw your hip out, Rick. Well, in that same, uh, same style, I guess it's going to 204. That's 204. That's an eight flap if you do whatever you want. Like 100 pages. When the roll is called up yonder. <laughs>
sing this song. Do that. Michelle, you got one you want to sing tonight? I thought you weren't going to ask me anymore. I wasn't allowed. <laughs> no, if you want to come sing, that's... No, 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 no. <laughs> Is there uh, not a Thanksgiving song, about, I guess? Let's, let's do 101. Uh, power in the blood. There is power in the blood. <laughs>
My wife says she doesn't care. She don't care. No, I'll give her. She's, <laughs> 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 She's yelling at me already. Can I ask for pen, you need another pen? Yeah, I got plenty of pens. Sarah comes oh, equipped. She's a nurse. <laughs> so, we've got that one. Five, six, two, I can't count. Four, six. 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 Can you take one past that? Y'all got something to write on? Y'all need something? 
You need a pin? I they do. Once we don't know how to run. I got a crayon right here. <laughs> no, I did draw a pin. Did you draw a picture? Sound it out. One. Uh, and two, you need a pin? Yeah. There you go. Two pins. There you go. Oops, sorry. Pink? It's for Michelle, man. There we go. All right. You're probably wondering why I'm giving you a pin and a piece of paper, right? Or it's something right. like this right on. This is part of my educator coming out in me, I guess. But I don't really take notes on. But y'all just hold on to that for a second. I got, I got it. I got it. The tag number of the truck's fixing to run us over. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You never give me to. You need to take you know, notes of the witnesses and stuff. He's going to give us a secret recipe. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you have your Bible tonight, I want you to open to Psalm 100. Psalm 100, we're going to read from Psalm 100. It's small, it's short, it's only five verses long. That's going to be our jumping off point. Tonight is the eve of Thanksgiving, right? We already are, uh, preached a sermon on Thanksgiving and how I love Thanksgiving. Although this year I will say it's a little, it's a little more solemn for me than normal because it's just me and Sarah. And then we'll run over and see uh, my mom and have Thanksgiving with her, but you know, usually we have a house full of kids and children and stuff, and this year we don't have that. We'll be waiting on a phone call for DJ while he's eating some chow hall turkey <laughs> and see how that goes. But anyway, Thanksgiving is my, is my favorite holiday because it, it just reminds us that we need to be thankful, and it's not something that we should be doing on, uh, on just once a year. It's something we should be doing uh, daily. So without further ado, let's jump right into Psalm 100. Uh, it's a psalm of praise, beginning in verse, verse 1. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. I'm going to tell you right now, have you ever heard me saw, sing, I'm joyful, and it is a noise. I'm going to tell you that right now. And that, that comes from that word ropa, the Hebrew word ropa, which means basically to shout exuberantly and let it be heard. Okay, And that's what we're doing when we make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And verse 2, it says, Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Praise God. You know, I was, I, was, um, I made a post yesterday that I went into Winn-Dixie and I saw all these solemn looks on people's faces. I mean, it's, it's two days before Thanksgiving and people are walking around like the world just ended. Like we just got nuked or something. And I'm, hey, how are you doing? Good morning. Good afternoon. How are you? And they'll run over you with the, with the cart. It's like you weren't even there. It's worse than an inanimate object. It's almost like they're looking through you. Like, you don't exist. And that's a sad, sad thing. Today I went to Winn-Dixie and I'm singing. I purposely was singing a hymn. I just got out of my truck. I heard the hymn off my phone. So I went in, I'm moving the buggy along, and I'm singing a hymn. And you know what? Somebody heard me singing a hymn, and they came up to me and started talking to me. Praise the Lord. Now, it was Mr. Farmer that used to come here. Remember? <laughs> but he heard the singing, and he came over and talked. He, so that's a good thing. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. And then know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Now, I'm going to say this. We, I talk about this. I, I beat a dead horse sometimes. But um, there are some people that, that talk about where all God's God's children, and that's just not the case. We're all God's creation, but we're not his children until you put your trust and faith in Christ Jesus, then you're adopted in. And then there's others, there are other people that will come out and say, well, you created God to, to make you feel good. No, God created me. I didn't create God. And furthermore, I think we've had a couple of people teach on this, if not Travis, I know it was Chris, but one of them taught on this, and I, I will have to echo this, that if I were going to create a religion and try to get the masses to follow, I would create a religion that just lets you do whatever you want to do. I mean, why would I, why would I, why would I create something that's going to go against the very essence of my flesh? I wouldn't do that. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. And then it goes on, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Praise God. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth 
endureth to all generations. You know, I think sometimes we take things for granted uh, in life. I think we take things for granted as Christians. Um, and I'm guilty. I'm sure, I'm sure there's others that are guilty of it. But we get so caught up with life, we get running around in circles because of job, relationships, family. Um, whatever you're going through or going to do, you're trying to make a life, and you get so caught up in doing this life that you forget to be thankful, that you forget to acknowledge Jesus and, and just be thankful, not, not just for the blessings that we have here on earth, but the blessings that we already have preserved for us in heaven right today. They're waiting for you and I. Me and Brother Howard were talking about that today and you know I, I, I say this and I'm, I'm not exaggerating this I go over to try to to comfort him and to lift his spirits and he turns around and does the same to me probably more so him comforting and 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 lifting my spirits just because of the knowledge and the wisdom that God has bestowed upon him that he willingly shares and quite frankly he tells you how it is and we were talking about that today, how, how, you know, people take things for granted and people will just, you know, live their lives and forget about church on Wednesday or forget about church on Sunday because they got a football game or they got this going on or that going on. Well, I, I was going to bring my kids, but we have dance. Or I was going to bring my kids, but we have this. And we talked about before how some people will, you know, they'll miss church to go on a on an excursion, but they won't miss work to go on an excursion. They won't miss they won't miss school to go on an excursion, but they'll miss church to do it. I think we take things for granted. Michelle made a comment last night uh, or yesterday on Facebook on one of my threads that I made about the shopping cart thing, and we it it, it dawned on me that you know people won't do something unless they're told not to do it. Seriously, like I was talking about the shopping cart return. People won't even return the shopping cart to the shopping cart return place. They'll push it 10 feet away from it and then leave it. I mean, you can't walk 10 more feet. But she said if you put a sign on there that said, don't return the shopping carts here, all of them would be piled up in that. I guarantee you. And I'm, I'm afraid that's what's going to happen to the church. Nobody comes to the church while it's free, while it's open. While we still live in a country that, that allows us to openly worship our Lord and Savior. But the minute they put a sign on that says it's forbidden to come in that door, it's forbidden for you to worship the Lord, then everybody's going to want to be defiant. Why does it take that? We take things for granted in this country. We take things for granted in life. And we should not take the Lord for granted. He has blessed us immensely. I, I'm, so, I'm so thankful. I'm first and for, foremost, and beyond anything, and the top of my list, I am thankful for the salvation that I have because of my faith and my trust in Christ Jesus, who loved me and gave himself for me. That is at the tops of my list. Everything else is a distant second. A distant second. Which brings me to my point tonight. We have prayer meetings on Wednesday night. And... Uh, I was talking to Brother Jeff about this a couple days ago. Uh, he called me and we were talking about this. But we should pray at prayer meetings. We should do some, some heartfelt prayer at prayer meetings. The reason I gave you a paper tonight, because it's, it's the day before Thanksgiving. I'm going to give you five minutes. Five minutes. Just quiet time. Okay? You as an individual, not as a couple. You as an individual. I want you to write on the left side of your piece of paper... I want you to write everything that you are thankful for. Everything that you are thankful for. And it doesn't have to be in a particular order, okay? I, I'm an order freak, so I would do that. That's just how my mind works. But you put it in however order you want to. I want you to list, I'm going to give you five minutes to put as many things as you can think of that you are thankful for on the left side of your paper. And you can draw a line down in the middle of your paper because you're going to put something on the right-hand side in a second. I'm going to do the same thing. Sarah, are you doing this back there? You better. I'm checking. <laughs> you don't have a pin?
And if you're watching at home, you can do this at home too. I forgot that we're we're on YouTube. Got about one minute left. I don't mean to put pressure on anybody. That's my educator coming out in me too, I guess. And you say one minute, people. Yeah, that's right. I do that. I do that a lot of people. So. I leave on the uh, 13th, evening of the 13th, afternoon of the 13th, so that we can be there for the 14th, which is family day, and then 15th would be graduation. Then we're going to drive him back here that evening. So, uh, Dr. Travis Haynes will be preaching on the 14th of December, right? Mark your calendars. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. All right. Everybody done? Everybody done? Okay. I'm not going to call you out on these right yet, okay, y'all? Right, yeah. right yet. Right On the right side, on the right side, I'm not going to. I'm not going to give you five minutes. I'm going to give you four minutes. Four minutes, because you probably don't have a lot of problems. Right now, I just want you to write what you need prayer for on the right hand side. That you would, you would, if you're going to ask for prayer, what would it be that you would need somebody to pray for you for on the right hand side? For us personally, or for things that. For you personally or collectively, whatever, whatever, individually, if you have, if, if, if the nation is on your mind, then that nation's on your mind.
All right. Y'all done? Or y'all still have more? Right. Okay, on the left-hand side, those things that you made a list of, uh, for all the things that you are thankful for, put a check mark next to all the things that you are thankful for that God is responsible for giving to you. Hey, that's the right answer. Amen. Amen. They're all checked off, brother. That's right. This is just a little activity to let you know that the things that you're thankful for, who you should be thankful for them to, because they don't come, even the things that you get presented to you uh, by an individual. I've, look, I've been blessed by a lot of people. A lot of people have blessed me physically uh, with, with material things, even finances. I've been blessed immensely, but you know who moved their heart to bless me? It was God. Um, and, and so it's by God's hand. God's responsible for all these blessings in our life. So I wanted to point that out to you. So when I was talking about we take things for granted, how many of those things do you think about on a daily basis that you actually raise your, your praises to the Lord and say, Lord, thank you for this. Thank you for, for the things that I put on the left-hand side of my list that I made tonight. And there's probably, if, if I was to give you all the time in the world, you could probably write a novel work of things that you're truly thankful for. And there's only one person responsible for all those things that you're thankful for, and that's God Almighty. So those are the, that's what I wanted to put an emphasis on tonight. Uh, when I was reading Psalm 100, uh, that just came into my heart when we were talking about enter into his gates with thanksgiving because, you know, back in the Old Testament times, they actually went to the temple. They actually came into the city of Jerusalem, went into the temple. We are the temple. We are the temple. We have the Holy Spirit living in us. So I don't have to enter in. I've already entered into him. He's entered into me. So I need to be thankful and cognizant of that on a daily basis. And we need to be mindful about it when people are walking around with these sour faces on you know, at the grocery store because uh, milk costs five dollars a gallon, or five fifty a gallon, or whatever it is, five sixty nine or something like that. Uh, look, God's still God, and God is still good. And you know what? Every time that I pull out my wallet and I have to use my debit card or the cash that I have to buy something, and I think it's outrageous, you know what I say? Thank God I got the money to buy what right, I'm getting. Right. There was a time in my life when I wasn't thankful for stuff like that. There was a time in my life that I'm like, man, I can't believe this costs this much. This is crazy. And I wouldn't thank God that I had the money. You know, this, this always happened to me, especially when I was a young parent. It's so hard to save money when you're a young parent because everything under the sun costs money. And your children will come home from school, and they'll need a new this and need a new that. And uh, the school is having a fundraiser for this. And, I mean, you, you, will, you might need to sell a kidney in order to raise children. But every time I turned around, we'd have a little bit of money saved, and then something would break on the house. The refrigerator would go out. The AC would go out. I, look, I have more AC problems than anybody I know. Okay? But always, always, I have the money to get it repaired. And when I was younger, I, I, I took that stuff for granted. Now I know. And I give God thanks and praise for that. And I think that we need to be mindful of that. Now, on the right-hand side, you got things over here, your prayer requests. What we're going to do, the last uh, five or so minutes, um, what, what used to happen on prayer meetings way back in the day, um, we're going to break into little groups, okay? Uh, I'm not putting anybody on the spot. you got six over here. you got a whole bunch. you got a whole family over here. But um, y'all intermingle. Don't be on the same side. Y'all cross ways, okay? And y'all share uh, with, with amongst yourselves in your groups um, your list. The, first of all, share what you're thankful for with each other. And then share the things that you want to pray for each other for. And then actually pray for one another. You know, James 5.16 tells us to pray for one another. And the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. So we need to do that. We need to pray for one another. And, and look, if, you, if some of this stuff is too personal to you, some of the stuff's too personal to you, okay? I get it. But if you can share, share with one another. 
You know, me and Chris talk about this all the time. Chris is uh, a guy that, that uh, I share things with him. He shares things with me. And we pray for one another. Because if I don't share what I'm having issues with or what I'm having problems with, how does somebody know how to pray for me? I'm just, just pray for me. Well, what am I praying for? Just pray for me. <laughs> oh, okay, I will. But it kind of helps if I know what to, what to pray for. And I'm not trying to get in your business, and I don't want, you know, to get too personal with you. That's between you, you and God. But what we're going to do not right now for about five minutes, y'all get together, get in little groups. Don't be shy. We're a family. And then after we're done, we're going to pray collectively, and we're going to be dismissed, okay? It's a little bit different for a prayer meeting tonight, isn't it? I got to be...
Well, they had to cut out a big, we said a big gnarly chunk for That took up most of the surgery time because he said it was horrible. And to get to it, he had to push the car under. that, it was this hard, whatever they did to the water. Yeah, to get to that surgery. So, so that was a lot of fun.
well like them here. Get together. Yeah. I love the double the food. Double. <laughs> Amen, brother. I'm with you. I'm with you. Thank you. We both had that on our list, didn't we? Well, I know. We love tangents. Three years out with her. I'm not going to interrupt you. Are y'all good? Oh, okay. All right. Well, this, this was a little bit different tonight than what, we, what we're used to doing, but every so often we need to do this, and we need to pray for one another, and, and this also should be an, uh, an example of what we should be doing on a daily basis. You know, we should have um, prayer partners. Uh, you know, it's important that the, the husbands and the fathers of the house lead spiritually in their home but it's also important that we reach out to one another and pray for one another what needs do you have what do you need to be pr praying about uh, i hope that y'all shared your list with one another or some things on your list and i hope that you prayed for one another tonight um but in the on the on the need side those are things that we pray for on the on the left side is things that we're thankful for and i want to emphasize that it's so important that we give god honor and praise and glory and thank him every time that we pray every time that we pray sometimes i think we 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 overlook that and it's it's this laundry list of stuff that we need lord i need this lord i need that but what do we already have uh and i'm thankful for each and every one of you so without further ado let's go ahead and uh, close out in prayer bow your heads please most gracious heavenly father i thank you for this evening lord and on this eve of thanksgiving in our country and this nation Lord, I just lift my voice of thanksgiving to you, knowing good and well, Lord, that everything that we have is by your hands. And Father, we are so blessed. We're blessed to be in this nation, even though the nation has turned and fallen uh, more and more each day away from you. Lord, we're still in a country that allows us and that doesn't uh, try to stop us uh, thus far from worshiping you, Lord, openly, and that we can come on a Wednesday evening to a church and fellowship together and praise your holy name with song and hymn and hear your word proclaimed and we could praise you lord and pray to you knowing lord that you hear our prayers and you're going to answer our prayers and tonight lord i know that you heard each and every prayer the prayers of our hearts as we lifted our voices up to you lord i pray that you'll uh, bless each and every one that's here and those who could not be here tonight lord the ones preparing meals and the fr friends and families that are coming in that are on the highway lord i pray for your hand of protection to be upon them and traveling mercies uh father for each and every one that's got to be on the road uh lord i pray for the families here father we have a great thanksgiving with family and friends but lord that we lift our voices tomorrow again and again to thank you for all the blessings that we have lord i thank you for those that are here tonight be with them as we leave tonight keep them safe and father Help us as we uh, go out into this world to be witnesses, Lord. That's one of my earnest prayers to you, to be better witnesses unto this world outside of these church doors. Uh, Father, for other people need to know the truth and that they can put uh, their faith and trust in Jesus and have eternal life. Lord, we love you. We praise you. And, Lord, just thank you. Thank you and thank you so much. And most importantly, for our salvation. And it's in Christ Jesus' holy and precious name we pray. Amen. Good evening.